Hey guys, how's it going? Jinxed here. I just got wind of this very interesting event coming up on an official Poke MMO Shiny War and wanted to give you some just initial thoughts on it. A uh, little different than my regular stuff, but I just found this kind of interesting and thought that I'd show you some of the interesting, just some of my initial thoughts on this. Uh, especially considering my team, Team Gold, is currently in their Shiny War. Um, and I just made a video on Shiny Wars, kind of interesting timing for this. Uh, so if you don't know what Shiny Wars is, check out the video linked in the description. Uh, otherwise, I'm just going to get right into this. So this is an official Shiny War competition between a group of players that forms teams. So you don't actually need to be in an official team uh, in the game for this. It just seems like anyone can kind of get together and form a team and show that you have uh, a less competitive nature in Shiny hunting. I don't know about that. We'll see how this event turns out. But I think this is going to be a very, very competitive event. Uh, this event allows for a different kind of competition in the game at an official level. So uh, typically uh, official events are done in either catching or in PvP. So this is going to be really uh, different than the regular official events. And I've given this a look through and it is a mixed bag for sure. So I'm just going to go through everything and give my thoughts on it. Uh, so it's capped to 50 teams so if you want to get in make sure you get in early so it's recommended to organize your team quickly and register as quick as possible uh, if you want to join your team here's the info on it so here is uh, basically you need a team name now here is the big part you need 25 people and no more than 30. so if you're on an official pokey mmo team with 150 members you have to pick only 30 to enter or you can have several uh portions of your team break into separate teams for this event but make sure it's only 30 that are allowed in here so try make sure when you're organizing don't set it up for your whole uh, in-game team to participate you're only allowed to play with one player or one character so you can't have one player running 30 accounts for this uh, so yeah pretty straightforward there everything must be ot uh, so yeah you can't just buy a bunch of stuff off the market. However, uh, something interesting about that coming up here, and this is where the mixed bag definitely comes in. Uh, shinies bred from shiny parents are not valid. Now that's pretty fair. You can make egg shinies from like just regular. Uh, in the case of a point tie, there will be sudden death, a sudden death race. This is kind of interesting. If this occurs. Uh, the tiebreaker is just the most points in 48 hours after the announcement of the crown winner. So that's kind of cool. Uh, a little like if there's a tie at the end, they you basically just race for two more days. It's pretty long. Uh, overall, this is just a one week event. So pretty uh, straightforward with that. But here is the big part. Shiny Pokemon obtained from mysterious balls are valid for the main event, but will not be valid in the set death victory. Now this, in my opinion, kind of invalidates a lot of the legitimacy of this event. Just my personal take on it, that it might come down to one team just dropping a few thousand dollars on RP and buying up all the mysterious balls, which if you go into the game right now at the time of recording, this the market on mysterious balls is crazy. It is been basically cleaned up and picked apart there's not anything left other than like uh mysterious pokeballs for like 300,000 and last I saw a great ball was on there for like 600,000 uh, it's probably balancing a little bit as people notice this and start mass selling their their pokeballs so if you're participating make sure you get buying these up if you're not participating but you've been holding some of these from the previous events uh might be an interesting time to watch the market and consider cashing out on your investments. I don't know if it's going to be best to sell right now when the hype's big or sell later on throughout the event. Uh, but yeah, definitely a lot of decisions to be made for people who have a lot of mysterious balls, myself included. Uh, so that's pretty much the big negative. I was really, really, really excited when I saw this event. An official shiny war seems so cool. Um, yeah, but this part definitely got it a lot of my excitement. Let me know what you guys think about this. I'm I'm really mixed on this. I don't even know if I'm willing to enter with this. However, the prizes are really good. We'll get to the prizes in a moment. 
As far as scoring goes, I think they did a really cool job with the scoring. Uh, so tiered points plus bonus points or untiered points and bonus points. So basically they broke every single Pokemon into six tiers or seven tiers technically because there's tier zero also. So tier six from looking through it is basically five times Horde Pokemon. And I think it's really cool that they actually categorize every single Pokemon into their own tier. That seems like a lot of effort and a lot of good work uh, that they did. Uh, tier five seemed to be five times Hordes, but not 100% Hordes. So like Axu is uh, mixed with uh, Subat, Caterpie is mixed with Weedle. So if you're doing five times Hordes for any of these, uh, they're, they're usually like 50-50 five times Hordes. Uh, tier 4 seem to be 3 times Hordes, so like Cottony, Bellsprout, I know that these are mostly 3 times Hordes. Uh, I think I see some 5 times Hordes in here that are also just like not 100%, like really low percentage things. Um, so like uh, Murkrow is a low percentage, um, 5 times Horde. There's, there's some interesting picks here. I feel like there's some easier ones and some harder ones for sure. Um, I'd have to give that a bit more thought. And then it goes up and basically tier one is egg hunts and tier zero is like harder egg hunts like Riolu where uh, you have to evolve it each time, Shedinja, uh, the, a lot of the genderless type ones in here. Uh, so those would be that kind of thing. Uh, the Finos are in here also. Tier one, you can kind of single encounter like Absol, uh, Carnivine you can do in the Safari. So kind of like Safari hunts or uh, other egg hunts go into tier one so i think they did a really really good job with this in general um uh but again if you pull like a, a charmander or charizard out of a uh, mysterious cherish ball for example you just immediately get that 30 points so kind of interesting shiny alpha shiny the mysterious premier balls will get you 50 points if you get lucky on that one so yeah, just a, a, kind of an interesting thing there. Uh, it's run by the official like GMs of the game, and this is so cool. The first place prize, every player in the winning team gets these, basically the shiny Charizard wings. You get charcoal dragon wings. As far as I know, yeah, disclaimer, the charcoal dragon wings vanity will be exclusive to Pokey MMO Shiny Wars and not available outside of the event. It doesn't say, from what I saw, if it can be traded, but I would, I'd assume that they're untradeable, like a lot of these kind of rewards, but hey, if they are tradable, that would be pretty crazy how uh, valuable these kind of things are. Uh, it does say that it has minor changes that, so it might look a little bit different. Uh, and then this is really neat. Fire Dragon Wings will also be available for purchase in the near future. So basically the non-shiny Charizard Wings will be available probably in the RP shop if it says for purchase. Um, so yeah, the winning teams, basically the team that gets the most points, every member, all 30 of them, will get the first place prize vanity. A single player with the most points gathered will get the MVP prize. Uh, the first place prize vanity as well unless they are part of the winning team, in which case they will get RP instead. So basically, if you're on a losing team, but you got the most uh, points out of the entire event, I think you still get the Charcoal Dragon Wings. So essentially, there's a max of 31 of these coming into the game, uh, at this time anyway. It does say that they're exclusive to Poke MMO Shiny Wars, so I don't know if that means that there, there might be some other Poke MMO Shiny War in the future and they could maybe recycle this thing, but it would be kind of cool if they did a new unique vanity for every shiny war if they continue to do this in the future uh so yeah other than that just a little bit of rp for the second third and fourth place winners um but yeah that's that's pretty much that so i'm really curious kind of where this goes um it's still really early this event just got announced a little bit ago uh this is just kind of my initial thoughts on it if you're holding on to these mysterious balls give uh give some thought to what you're gonna do with them uh, I don't know, maybe they could all get used up during the event and then they skyrocket after or maybe right now while the hype's going, it would be a good time to sell or maybe in the middle of the event when one team falls behind and decides to drop a thousand dollars and, you know, buy all these up, that might be a good time to sell too. Um, it's really up to you to make that decision. This is... Other than that, I think that this is so cool. I love that they're doing this. I. 
I love that they're taking um, a very common uh, team event that everybody does and now they're making it official. I would love to see that with uh, all sorts of things like different types of uh, community events brought in as official events. So this is a really good start. Uh, I'm just a little, a little curious to see how it turns out uh, in practice with the whole mysterious ball thing. So let me know what you think about it in the comments. I'm really, really curious. Again, a little different than my usual uh, kind of more edited style of video. So I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this. If you did, give it a like and uh, subscribe for more Pokey MMO content. And I'll see you guys next time. Actually, I was just reading through the comments on this a little bit after recording that. And Rach did uh, do a reply about the mysterious balls. So there have been a few questions on why it's handled the way it is. Um, all this doesn't really matter. The big part is mysterious balls were allowed due to their finite supply, the low rates of rare species within them, and the methods similarly to revive fossils, which is a good point. You could just stock, stock, uh, stock up on fossils and do a bunch of turning in. Uh, actually, no, this I don't think this is fair. This Mysterious balls are way faster than fossils, and also the rates are incredibly high compared to fossils. So that's... I, this is kind of a silly thing to say. There's one in 30,000 from a uh, fossil compared to like one in a thousand or, or one in 4,000 or whatever the mysterious, different mysterious balls are. I don't think that's a fair comparison. Uh, they think, according to Rach and the uh, people running the event, that it might give a minor head start. So I'm really curious to see how this all turns out, but we will see. Anyway, that's my last thought on this. So uh, I'll see you guys.